This quick video will demonstrate the new SDS2 Connect plugin inside of Revit. The SDS2 Connect plugin allows for users to design connections within the Revit model. This structure has already had the connections designed, but we will work with these connections to modify them and demonstrate how you can take control of the connections inside of Revit using the SDS2 Connect add-in. Simply click on the add-ins area where you will find the SDS2 Connect tools. From here, I will edit this clip angle by choosing the Edit tool and clicking on the connection. The Connection Node screen allows me to select connection type. I am going to change my connection from an auto standard clip angle to a shear plate connection. Automatically, Revit will update that connection due to the SDS2 Connect plugin. Along with designing the connections, the SDS2 Connect plugin can also create the connection sign calculations. From this small report, we can see a summary of the calculations, including the results, the connection strength, and telling you that the connection is OK. For more detailed information, you can click the link below to view our connection design calcs, along with the expanded calculations, including the longhand calculations required by the AISC code. From here, we'll make this connection a little bit more complicated. Again, simply editing the connection, adding a moment, and as the moment is added, our connection design detects that the moment strength is exceeded. If I go into my loads, I can adjust my loading. Now that we have a bolted moment connection on here, let's take a look at the entire joint. The SDS2 Connect plugin will not only design individual connections, but it can design a group of connections or an entire structure as well, even down to detecting the unique framing conditions of each member. For example, I'll select this column and modify it by just giving it a rotation of 90 degrees. SDS2 Connect enables Revit to automatically redesign these connections in accordance with the new framing condition, including extending the shear tab to maintain that bolted moment and revising the setbacks on the other two beams now framing into the flanges of this column. From here, I will export this model to SDS2 using the direct export from Revit to SDS2 and selecting all structural elements. I simply save my file and then open SDS2 and import it into my model. The model has now been imported into SDS2 and we can see that the changes I've made to that Revit model have been carried over as well. With our round tripping tool, SDS2 can easily send its information back out to Revit. For example, I will edit this connection, changing it from a clip angle back to a shear tab. We have some of the same information where we can change a connection type from auto standard, again, to a shear plate. And I will now export this information back to my Revit model. That information has been created. So I will now open Revit back up and import that information. Having imported that information, we can now take a look and see that our shear tab connection has indeed been updated. This concludes our demonstration on the new SDS2 Connect plugin for Revit.